kids are curious and that's a great thing. Um, it's one of the most fun things as a parent to see your child learn new things and grow new skills. It can also be a little frustrating when their curiosity leads to big messes or constantly asking why, why, why? Let's talk about some books that are gonna help fuel kids' curiosity and make them smarter and entertain them in the process. The Children's Encyclopedia is a great beginner encyclopedia. Now, all of our encyclopedias and a lot of our nonfiction in general is interlinked. So you can either scan a QR code or go to the website as wornquicklinks.com and it'll bring up games and activities and all sorts of things to expand on what's in this book. This book covers history, it covers how things work, it covers science. In our nonfiction, our text is broken up in chunks so that you can start anywhere in the page and start reading and it's gonna make sense. That way you or the child themselves can gear the, their learning to their own attention span and their own interest. My copy is kind of beat up because I've had to rescue it from my son's bed three or four times. He loves it so much he sleeps with it. If you can only get one nonfiction title today, I would highly recommend the Osborne Children's Encyclopedia. STEM is a buzzword in education because we live in the information age and science, technology, engineering, and math are essential. Usborne has some awesome new STEM books. Our Peek Inside series and our very first question and answer series are science for the youngest learners. This Peek Inside series takes a look at different ecosystems like the garden, the jungle, this one is the forest. Something I love is every page asks a question. So, as the days grow cold, some forest animals tuck themselves away to sleep all winter. Is anyone hiding here? A prickly ball? So it gets them thinking and forming their own little theories. Hello, hedgehog. What are germs is part of our very first questions and answers series. This series addresses questions that young children often have, like what is sleep, what is snow, what is poop, and of course, what are germs. It teaches them in a simple way using flaps what germs are and how they impact them. The flaps, the illustrations, and the simple explanations make it accessible to even the youngest kids. The Inside Your Body is definitely been one of our best sellers. It's probably our most popular nonfiction flat book. It introduces kids to their body's systems in an engaging way. So for example, here we see what happens when a child first starts eating and then it moves down through their digestive system. This covers all of our major systems like our um, respiratory system, breathing air, bones and muscles, and so on. My husband works in the medical field, and I still catch him reading this book from time to time. It's that good. 100 Things to Know About Numbers, Computers, and Coding is the newest title in our 100 Things to Know About series. It joins other great titles such as 100 Things to Know About Science, 100 Things to Know About the Human Body, 100 Things to Know About Food. My favorite is 100 Things to Know About History. It presents information in graphic format. This is gonna be amazing for trivia junkies. This is also gonna be great for kids that already have an interest in this subject. So if they're already interested in computers or if they're already interested in the human body, this is just gonna fill their minds with all sorts of fascinating facts and fuel that curiosity. If you would like to pique their interest in a particular subject, these are also going to be awesome because the graphic learning style makes it highly accessible. Our understanding series also presents information in infographic style, but it's a little bit more advanced than what you would find in 100 Things to Know. So for example, in understanding politics and government, you learn all about the political process um, and how it works in different places. So for example, here's democracy in the USA, international politics, um, when voting goes wrong, everything you would want to know. I actually minored in political science in college. This book is one of the very best explanations of our political system and political systems in general that I have ever seen. We have hundreds of nonfiction titles available. So whether your child is interested in lizards or how the sun shines or anything else, I'm certain we can help you find the perfect book to fuel curiosity in healthy ways.